As my friends, welcome. Uh, we got a Pro Tour in San in about six weeks, and uh, obviously it's Pro Tour Thunder Junction. Don't have any, any of those cards yet, but I'm going to be playing a lot of standard over the next few weeks, kind of like, you know, get myself involved in the format, kind of get things going, and get a really good base going into the testing process, which will be uh, as fun as it always is. And um, what do we got here? This is uh, all the decks we'll be playing over the next few uh, few uh, decks is going to be decks that are from uh, Magic Online Premier Event top, you know, top 16s, top top 8s or whatever. And Hamuda played this deck to a good finish. This is a blue-white, basically in Soul Artifact deck with Zoetic Glyph. You know, Artifact, Aggro, uh, of course, Novice Inspector, Warden of Inner Sky, Spyglass Siren, all need no introduction. We got Case the Flitched Falcon here. Uh, pretty cool card. Axe is sort of a and Soul Artifact effect alongside Zoetic Glyph. We also got Norn's Inquisitor. Uh, really, really good draft card. Uh, seeing play constructed here it makes an incubate token with two counters on it. Kind of sweet because if you put the the glyph on the incubator token, you'll have a seven six, which is awesome. And uh, this is kind of like the anti go for the throat deck. Obviously, all these artifact creatures. We got schooners. We got seraphs. A couple get losts. A couple dusk rose reliquary. Pretty cool removal spell here as far as uh, as stacking stuff. And we got the wandering emperor and uh, some cool lands, anchorage mirror, so on and so forth. Cyborg's got some uh, some counter spells in it. Some wedding announcements. Get the idea. Vanquish the Horde, kind of a cool juke against the uh, the Boros decks, and that's the deck. So, let's get right to the games, brought to you by... In the search for the ultimate weapon, knowledge is power. Introducing Draftsmith, your new secret weapon for Magic the Gathering Arena Limited Mode. Draftsmith helps you pick the perfect card every time by providing an in-depth rating for each card. These ratings adapt based on the cards you've already chosen, making sure you always stay one step ahead of the competition. After the draft is done, Draftsmith recommends the optimal deck based on the cards you have chosen. No more, win more. Download Draftsmith today from untap.gg. What's up, folks? All right, so yeah, check out Draftsmith, 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 obviously. Untap's the best. Chat coming out, me. And uh, BTM is all wrapped up. And... Uh, no one draw. It's pretty crazy. Pretty cute. Uh, it's all wrapped up. Check it. Watch for you in YouTube, right? We'll be, we'll, be, we'll be doing some more draft content also, but Nord's kind of cool with the schooner too. Deep cavern bat. That card's pretty good against us, unfortunately. So no one draw kind of sucks, but they take the uh, take the schooner or the inquisitor. Either way, either way, we, 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 we get two drop, which is pretty great. All right, folks, watch on YouTube. Hit the like button. Support the content. All right, appreciate y'all. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, let's just ignore it up here. Norn's Inquisitor Incubate Token. If we flip it, gets counter. Cute, adorable. All right, so I stole my schooner, and. Uh, Again, our deck is quite good against Go for the Throat, so they're going to Sentinel of the Nameless City. We draw a Get Lost. So are we in for a Glyph attack for seven here? It's pretty good. It's obviously at a third of their life total. And uh, could also cast the Coat, but yeah, it's a pretty easy uh, Glyph here, I think. So play Glyph. Can't go for the Throat. It can't cut down it. And uh, just attack for seven. We can even flip it. Um... It doesn't leave the battlefield, right? So we flip it up, and it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, uh, it'll be, it'll get plus plus one, it'll be eight power, so it's not even that good, but, you know, so we could do it, it's a, it's, it's a hypothetical, it's, you know, a possibility. Get a bat up on the, our map on the bat, hit a glissa, that's not ideal. We're gonna bin that, we got our removal spell, of course, or two in hand, we got Cryptic Code going, uh, sacrifice an artifact or creature, sacrifice an Inquisitor is pretty cool. So, take a little hit here. Probably going to go Cryptic Coat and Reliquary. Get rid of the bat. Get our thing back. Also, these lifelink uh, counters are start adding up here, of course. Card sweep. Zoetic Glyph. And this little guy. It is small, right? Wow. They're going to go for a uh, Dread Whisper. Just take a damage and draw a card. That's pretty gnarly. Um, all right, so we're going to go attack for seven, 
and they'll play Coach and Reliquary, sacrificing our Inquisitor to get this bat. She never seven here. All right, there you go. Dusk Rose Reliquary, sacrificing a Norns Inquisitor. Kind of using all parts of the Buffalo here, which is awesome. Kill the bat. Get back our schooner. Play the coach. Get our cloak on. And I convinced him to make wizard cloaks fashionable. It's a steel seraph. Unfortunately, we cannot flip it for the prototype cost. Only six mana. Uh, but you know, if we get six mana, it could be a thing. And I mean, they're at eight, and I have ten power in play, and, our, and a kill spell in my hand, and a bounce spell too. So, gonna map up on the sentinel, revealing a go for the throat. Waka, waka. Nice go for the throat, friend. Alright, let's take four. Uh, no blocks. What, Mike? I don't understand. Mapping again. All right. Get lost. There's a land and a preacher of the schism. We draw a Norns Inquisitor again. So, I think we're just going to kill the preacher and just attack and force chump block. It's pretty insane. We're going to crush them, honestly. Just get lost this thing. Get off my plane. And uh, we just jam. Attack like this. They have, to, they have chump block or they're dead. They take three. And then we, uh, let me just schooner it up and say go here. Hold the Odawar. Pretty, uh, pretty dominating game, honestly. They had Bat into Sentinel and a pretty good, uh, suite of spells, and we were just kind of, like, crushing them. Correct, this thing just flips. So you can flip it, and I imagine the Glyph would just stay on it. I don't know why it would, uh, I don't know why it would leave the battlefield in any way, so... With an, with an Inquisitor in play, we could flip it and make it into an 8-7. Uh, that would work, but... Playing some standard folks, getting ready for the uh, the Pro Tour, which is, you know, obviously a pretty, a pretty ways away, uh, but... Gotta get, uh, gotta get the thing. Bones of 5 or 10, Bones dead. Love it. So they are a uh, a Golgari deck, kind of a grindy Golgari deck. Um, I wish I had more, more coats, honestly. Coat's coat pretty good against them. I would say Spell Pierces can go. I could bring in, like, just Wedding Announcers, bring some more threats. Um, I actually wouldn't mind another removal spell or two, but, like, Destroy Evil is not... I say it kills a 3-4 or 2, I guess. No no knockout blows, no counter spells, no tie binders, so... It, do I want Destroy Evil? Or do I want Wedding Announcement? Um, we're on the draw. Hmm. Destroy Evil on the draw. Let's try that. Alright. Game 2 on the draw. I mean... If you could promise there was a plane at the top of my deck or any white source, I would snap keep this, obviously. I mean, like, with the map, too, it's, like, not crazy. I want to keep seven. I mean, we, we just can't keep this hand. Like, it, it's... Like, we, we have two looks at a land. Any land finds schooner. Obviously, a white land, our hand's insane. And if we miss up a second look, we can always just map. Oh, keep mulligan, folks. Couldn't keep it on the play. but on the draw, can we keep this? Keep it mulligan. What do we do? What do we do? Pony, that pony kept seven. I kind of think we keep, like, we're 42% to draw land. We have two looks and then a map. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. All right, that's not a land. Missed the first time. You know what, forest, go. So Seth Manfield keep. Seth keeps everything. Forest, forest? What are they doing? Missed second time. We can't miss a third time, right? It's just not even possible. Alright, well, 
All right, so our top three cards were all not lands. We lost three, 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 three flips in a row, basically. Uh, and now we're dead, but that's fine, I guess. They're going to Whispers to casting the Knight. If you play this Golari deck, just freaking cast this card, please. Like, don't bother turn three drawing a card. Magic ain't about that these days, all right? Magic's about getting on the board. Get on the board, get on the board, get on the board. This deck has 23 lands. You can see that right down here, courtesy of Untapped, our probability of drawing a land. It was like 42 when we started this. Now it's at 45. So, Alchemy's kind of fun. I mean, maybe. All right, this is ridiculous. Now we've missed, was that five misses in a row? All right, found it. We were there. We did it. So we can uh, Reliquary down this Preacher, which is pretty good, actually. We can do that. All right, let's cast Reliquary. Sack this thing. Kill the Preacher for now. Teamer World Souls Rage is pretty sweet. I'll be playing that for my Cool Stuff video on Monday. I'll be recording it live on stream later. It's pretty insane. I've been playing it off stream a little bit. Me and Nicole are playing in a 1K on Saturday. It's like a local 1K. And um, I think I might, I think I might, might play it there, so... Take three. We draw another land, you know. I think we're like kind of good to go here. If we can go like schooner, schooner inspector, and ones. If we draw like land, especially the game, we'll probably win the game. But we try to get lost, tilt. Uh, all right, let's attack for two. I imagine this is gonna die right now. Uh, they, they, they want to kill this actually. They have a, uh, a what's it called? A um, green card with kicker that exiles at artifacts and enchantments. I'm calling it, folks. Nicole's playing Rakdos, probably. Rakdos, Rakdos mid-range. It's going to be fun. That card, Terra Sunder. God damn, I'm smart and good-looking. We're going to lose, but... Um, Alright. Here comes a Tranquil... F oh my god. Alright, we're dead. Obviously, we missed like seven land drops this game or whatever. Unfortunately, uh, this dies. Preacher attacks. Yeah, I'll just get Alright, you got me. Alright, so I think it was a fine keep, honestly. Uh, you know, missing four turns in a row is pretty unlikely. But uh, let's, now we're on the play. I think I'm a little more interested in wedding announcement on the play. I think we're less inclined to need removal and more inclined to want uh, card advantage stuff. So let's do this. Alright, on the play. Two lander. I mean, it's a little clunky, obviously. We can keep this. Uh, we'll warden first. Uh, I don't know how I would share it. It's just like a an image file. Uh, actually, it's in my Discord. I don't even know where it is. I put it somewhere, and it's I it's in my like my folder of things to play. I'm not sure we're sure where it is right now. I think it was Ash Lizzle's list, maybe. Uh, it was just like Grixis Amble. All right, take the glyph. That kind of sucks, actually. But that was a good draw. All right, so now we have our inspectors going. A little detective action. Hello, sir. South Park Junior Detective. We're wondering if you have any crimes you need subbed for a dollar. Dub clues? Clues, clues, clues. Top card is an anchor. We'll keep that. And, all right, sack for two. Drawing both emperors is pretty, uh, pretty not ideal, obviously. Especially given the fact that, um, clues is on tap, right? Yeah, that, that um... Sure, that's fine, I guess. Especially given the fact that we, uh... They are, they're facing up. My, my opponent can see them too, but. Alright, let's attack. I think we're in pretty shape this game, though, honestly. Play Anchorage and say go. We just have Crack the Clue, Draw a Card, have, have Double Emperors, have pretty good beatdowns here. Kind of cool Emperor putting counters on this thing. We'll give it, we'll give it, uh, we'll give it the Flying and Vigilance too, which is kind of sweet. Let's see if we got enough gas here. Lights out. Lights out on Division Street. All right, so uh, I'll draw a card. And draw a Spyglass Siren. I mean, obviously we kind of want to just like get the Emperor going at this point. So just get, up, just, just get in the air. Get in the air. It's a get lost. I think I want this. So they didn't, they didn't do much early on. Could have a handful of like Shield Roots and other big, big threats. Just keep it on top. Keep it on top. Just gonna play Odawara. Get it for four. And like, got the Emperor going. We got plenty of things tapped for our, our Warden. Warden does have a throat, unfortunately. 
buttons are off today. I suppose it could be almost anybody. Don't kill my warden. Yes, no almond hawker here. Uh, this is just a uh, a list that did well in things. So I'm still I'm still working on almond hawker. Don't worry. But right, here's wandering emperor. We're gonna see a, a death to my warden. They have four mana up, so we got a, a, a four mana terra under to kill a creature, which is an awesome exchange for us, obviously. All right, make a two two, and we draw. And where do we want to start? We could fire up the Anchorage. We could play a Siren and start mapping. We could Clue. We could do a lot of things here. Yeah, four mana to kill one drop is pretty awesome. So um, they're obviously inclined to want to block with their Mosswood. I could just like plus on this thing so they can't get a profitable block, profitable block on. I kind of do the Anchorage in too, honestly, get more, more stuff in play. I'll just go like this. Put this here. Fire this thing up. Just get it for five. Their blocks suck. Make a map. Hand's still great. Emperor's in play with lots of counters on it. This thing's not... We can't, they can't trade here. I do it that they like to trade this off, obviously. So... Got a kill spell in hand. Another Planeswalker. A bunch of material. Feeling pretty good here. They're just gonna jump. Love it. All right. And also, what's good here is a lot of our stuff is diversified, right? So they have, like, a Gix's Command. They can kill my board, but they can't kill the Emperor or the Anchorage, which is great, too, so. Diversify your bonds. Swamp, swamp. Frill back. Nothing really good to kill, though, right? When they kill a clue, like, so they kill a clue and gain four life. Whatever, sure. They're going to kill the map, actually. Wow. Uh, you say so. All right, so we're going to pump up the uh, this thing. I think with the Siren available also, we're not going to uh, anchor it this time. So I guess we just like Siren map on Inspector and see what happens. So let's fire up the map on here. And we get a land, unfortunately. So now we'll just plus on the 3-3. Uh, the get in for 4. And then, do I want to play another Inspector or crack this clue? I think I want to crack the clue. A little bit of get lost and crack the clue. I don't think playing another, another, another Inspector on this board helps. And then, like, obviously, if they have a, a Gix Command or something like that, we want to keep uh, some stuff available as well. Yeah, kind of, it's, it's actually going really well, honestly. I think their draw this game was pretty bad. The draw game, their draw game was good, though. So, Ugh, okay. Here is Nissa Ascended Animus, which obviously is a uh, a disenchant factory. So this will make it XX green. So now, Judge, I'm almost positive this will use last zone information. So if I were to kill this in response, uh, they would still get a six six. Judge, Judge, Judge. Any judges in chat? So I believe it uses last on information. Any judges, right? Yeah, okay. So that's fine. So that's six loyalty. All right, sure. All right, so and then we're just gonna get lost the the Phyrexian Hara. And they're at six, they're like basically just dead, right? Like, all right, so we'll just kill this. Walk this, three, yeah, they're, they're just dead. We're just, Spread the, spread the attacks out or whatever. Put this here. Put this here. Yeah, they're just dead. All right, sweet. That was an awesome game. After it was all over. Nice clean win there. We took us in the house of service pancake. Love to see it. And? Cool. Diamonds are forever. Point of mulligans. And we've got uh, a case, a warden. That's pretty good. We can keep this. Deck should be on the overlay as always, courtesy untap.gg. Again, more uh, more stuff, sure. Yeah, let's play a ward and say go. Deep Cavern Bat. 
But as always, that goes on the overlay, expression point, deck in chat, or decks, see my decks. And then if you're on YouTube, pop in the description, find the deck right there. Try to make it easy for you. They're going to take my Get Lost. Sure. So we're going to fire up our case. You boys canvas for witnesses, establish a time frame and motive, and bring me a suspect. Not really close to solving just yet, but we have our Seal Seraph ready to go. Can't go for the throw at that one. Can't learn that on a hockey rink. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you! Deep Cavern Bat. The Return of Mesmeric Fiend. Cut down, sure. They don't have a lot of cards that can kill my Seraph, right? Alright, well, that's annoying, but... Alright, so Spell Pierce, huh? We're going to keep the Gantt in our hand. Play Seraph and say go. We only have two cards left, so... So, we're one, uh... One art back away from... Oh my god. Man, talk about a game where everything that could go wrong does go wrong, right? They've hit all their spots this game. Alright. Uh... We draw a Novice Inspector. Sure. It's like impossible to leave a Ganjo here. I guess we just... Oh man. I just cracked a clue. I want to solve the case, but like... Just try and draw an artifact next turn. Alright, I'm just going to play a Ganjo and say, yeah. Discard Spell Pierce to the Liliana. The only saving grace here is that they don't really have a clock. So, they have two creature lands too though. So, that Liliana was particularly nasty. Hey, little fella. Each player discards a card. Goodbye, Spell Pierce. You won't be outsmarting me. Discard second Liliana, sure. Just play a land. All right. I mean, they fire in the cottage and attack. We take a hit. They're not going to fire in the cottage. But why? <laughs> they have literally nothing. They want, to defend, they want to defend Liliana against my novice inspector? My little guy? They're small, yes. But they are powerful. Alright, I guess. One point of loyalty on Liliana is worth more than a four, a four shot damage and a food. You say so. Untap and draw a non-artifact. That sucks. Alright. Try and draw an artifact there. That's why I didn't crack end step. But now I think we're probably dead. I need to draw like something good here, I guess. But that's a pretty good one. Alright, so we lift up the clue. Attack Liliana and force a block on the cottage. I discover too. Alright. I'm in. Alright, so... We'll just jam... They chump block, but eat me, it's fine. If I attack with both, they eat this thing, and then it goes, yeah, I think it's just, this is fun. I'm not just gonna give him a free inspector. All right, so here's the cottage. I think my opponent is overvaluing their Liliana a little bit. Here's my discover. We find a, another glyph. Oh my God. That sucks, obviously. Uh, Solar Reset, thanks so much. They discard a bat without playing it. What are, th are they a bot? What is going on? I guess they didn't want to get it stuck under the, they didn't want to hide the glyph, they want to, want to get rid of it, but like, they don't want a life leaker in play? What's happening? Where are our creature lands? What's, what's going on in this game? Right? What's happening? What a, what a game. What a game. Shut up, Liliana. Oh, that was a good draw. Alright, here's a Mosswood. That's a really good draw, actually. Can we just draw a spell, please? Just like a nice, good spell. Maybe a Wandering Emperor? That'd be great. Oh! Okay. Um. So... Hmm. Obviously, we can Wandering Emperor and eat one of these bats. Uh... 
Huh. So, like, the problem is, obviously, we eat it, the card goes back to our hand, and we can just lay on it and get rid of it. We could Emperor the Get Lost, but, like, I think it's just bad for us. I don't think Liliana's that relevant right now, and given the maps also sucks pretty bad, too. I think we just hold this, and if they, if they plus first, we'll just cast the response. I'm just like, yeah. That will deter their attacks, make it 2-2. Two, two. Alright, cast Emperor. They discard a card. Run away. Goodbye to <laughs> Gix's command. Another. Here's a preacher of the schism. Sure. Preach pretty good here, unfortunately. Alright, so make it two two. Draw a warden. <sighs> Preach is pretty good. Yeah, I think we're like just too far behind this game. We just didn't do anything for too many turns. Losing our Discover Cascade and not hitting a, a relevant card was kind of tough too. Um, this Preach is going to murder us. Yeah, I mean... I'm just going to make a 2-2 and say go. Could, like double block, double block Preacher, I guess. I'm not sure what we're drawing to, honestly. Tough game. The bats really got us this game. Kind of just like every every point in the curve. Also, like having the Liliana for my my uh, three three turn was pretty bad. So, All right, it's like this guy. Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Try to creature land. It's be a very different game by the creature land of blood. All right, it's a bat attack. Take one. We're gonna try and block this. Not be uh, not be too happy about it, but all right. So kill the preacher. I mean, emperor could, could preacher is fine with a schooner. It's not super great. Say go. Yeah. Schooner's on defense here. We're like comically like kind of still in this game. Sort of. Not really, I guess. Like, they just have four lands and all spells and uh, a great board. These bats just just chipping away. Found the creature line we were looking for. Alright, we should go next game. That's fun. Alright, so, yeah. Tough game, obviously. Uh, cards didn't line up very well for us. We're on the play. I think I got the weddings in the play. Cut these spell pierces. Spell so Pierce is just too narrow to match up like this. All their good cards are creatures, so most of them. Alright, on the play. I mean, that's fine. Like, we should have Schooner and Inquisitor. Okay, we have good value lands, too. We're going to keep this. We have, like, three good lands that aren't just lands, so... Solar wants to know if we have a process for deck building in the PT thing. Yeah, and people just, just build decks. You just bring them to the team and try them out and see how they go and just talk about it and go from there. The old cottage. All right, so schooner up. Adam says, Jim, your rant about where magic is these days on one of your YouTube videos other day hit home. If you look up the events at local game store every and every FNM commander night. Yeah, I agree. It sucks. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. All right, so they have a, a double tap land draw, which is awesome for us. We just get to Cryptic Coat and, like, Cryptic Coat crew attack, which is insane. So good grindy cards here for us. We hit a... And what's the invisibility cloak doing here? Uh, that's actually pretty good. We get a Warden. They might even get a counter on it, too. Let's stack, explore, case. I currently have two artifacts in play. Sure, I keep that. I'm a big fan of the Coat, too. Coat's an awesome card. Really, really cool. Tony Mac, reset up. Thanks so much. Glisa. Sun Slayer. Alright. Uh, hmm. 
but obviously prefer not to get hit by this thing. Um, we do have a Ganjo, but it's kind of hard to use it, honestly. Especially if I want to crew and attack. If Glissa hits me, it's not that bad. I guess I guess Scooter is just gonna attack anyway, because obviously it's, it's, it's the first strike, so. Oh, I mean we could like no, we can't we can't actually attack. So just play a land. Maybe we just attack for three. Uh we could also flip over the warden and then tap the coat. The schooner. Hmm. Doesn't work either. Alright. I'm gonna leave up a Ganjo. Play this thing. Make a clue. And I'll find you. So you were this will solve the case. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you medley. Now I can kid. I can activate and make my clue into a 4-4 four -four flyer. So this all looks very PC. Uh so the goal is to not arouse suspicion because we actually have an Ganjo here. Yeah, we got him. Cool. So yeah, I'll just kill this. Awesome. So the thing is, if I, if I say go four mana up, opponent never attacks you of Wandering Emperor. So like whenever you're trying to, to set, lay a trap for your opponent, it's got to be plausible. You know, you got to be like, okay. And that looked really plausible, right? We just had three mana up. It looked like it was for the, for the case. Couldn't have Wandering Emperor. Only one again in the deck. It just looks very plausible, you know? So. All right, so they have Preacher. Um... We can make... We actually can make the Schooner. Put four possible encounters to target Nargucci Artifact. comes a zero, zero bird with flying. So that, that, that will overwrite the Schooner text. Yeah, it's actually not that good. So... Uh, hmm. They're at 13. I kind of want to just get more... I mean, I should go to Norns and, and Scooter and just get more stuff in play. Just going to attack for three, attack for four and play more stuff. Like... I'm just going to play to the board. One, reset Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, Incubate. They have a uh, cut down here. Sure, it's fun. NBD. If we animate... On the incubator, it'll be a 6-6 six, six flyer. That sucks. I mean, this is fine. They have Liliana, just gonna die anyway, so. We, uh, our, right now, our, our, our limiting factor is, uh. Cryptic coat also. Alright, so 3, 2. Hmm. There are 9. You can also just manually flip up the incubator too. So like, you can also like just emperor and eat this preacher. It's pretty good. It's pretty good too. Like we have so many options here. Um, yeah, give reset. Thanks so much. Emperor goes to one, and I can't defend it. God, what a what a little uh, little spot we got ourselves into here. And do we, do we attack Liliana or attack them? Do you want to leave Preacher alive? Not really. I have no idea what to do. I, I gotta stop and think for a second, folks. They have four cards in hand, four mana in play. They have a cottage. Um, obviously, we have the Cryptic Coat, which is awesome in a long game as well. No! I'm just gonna exile this. I'm not sure it's right, but the rope is going, and I just. I don't know if I'm trying to see this go. Get rid of this thing. Let them kill my emperor. I can, like, animate, animate, crew, crew, attack. I can do so many different things here. They discard a card. Awesome. It is a path of peril, which would have been pretty good, actually, right? Against my uh, 
My tokens here. Here's a Sentinel of the Nameless Way, sure. That makes my schooner attacks worse. Ugh, that's bad. Draw land, sure. Um, they actually left my Wandering Emperor alive, which is kind of guess. Um, huh. Okay, so um, we like can't really get it on the ground. We they might have for a six six flyer. Well, obviously they, they have this thing, so we don't want we don't want to go in too hard on the stuff they can kill. I'd like to have a token in play too. All right, let's just do this on. Can't kill this thing. I could sack this in response. Let's target this. I, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. This is, a, this is like a really, really complicated game. Uh, I'm just going to kill Liliana. I'm going to make it 2 2 and just say go. So, we have a crew if we want it. We can bounce the code if we try and kill it. We have obviously a 4 4 flyer in play, which is great. Um. Thanks, got some uh, some play to it for sure. Big Cryptic Co fan, really good like one or two of them. Not a card you see. We play four of them necessarily. So you have a good, so you have a good reason to. But because obviously there's diminishing returns, having multiples in play, but pretty cool card. We also have Mirix and Anchorage hanging out too. So here comes the Sentinel of Enable City. No problem. Take a hit. Down 16. They're going to Dread Whispers and just draw a card and take a hit. Love it. Play and play Dread Knight. Love that also. All right, so end step, we're going to bounce the coat. Untap. We draw a wedding announcement. Awesome. All right, so we're going to attack for four, play coat and announcement. Here's our coat. The cloak, put the cloak. We hit a get lost, sure. Tiger 4, oops. Tiger 4 in the air. Play wedding announcement and just say go. Now we're in the nice sloggy game. I guess like now they can kill this and I can't draw a card off of it, but our board's still great, so. Hey, Tuts. What? Oh, uh, no. Crypto Command and Standard, huh? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's outlandish or anything. Like, what's up, XC? Reset, thanks so much. Room for Ackle Packle to 1 5? That's uh, probably just too slow. You know, you this, this is an on the board pressure deck, so. They're going to fill back and kill my clue. But now we have what announcement going, and we have a bunch of things in play, so. We also have this freaking uh, almost lethal Crypto Code, too, so. They're moving to attack position. This is a really easy block, right? We just trade one schooner for one set for Sentinel, which is great. So let's crew this. Crew this. Easy blocks. Looks good to me. All right, it's so untap. They're super dead, right? Like, I mean, if we if we hit the map on the on this thing, they're dead for sure, but. All right, map it up. Survey says... Still alive. Just kidding. We have a flyer also. They're dead. They're dead. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day. This land's good, too. Rest of this, thing, this thing goes. Is this better than Celestial Commandant? What do we think? What card's better? If you're on YouTube, I need, this is your comment of the day also. What's the better card to get a vacuum? Rest Sankarage or Hustler Slash Joe Colonnade? Like, if you have a cube, you're going to include one blue-white creature land. Which one do you include? 
All right, so uh, now we're on the draw. Don't want these destroy evils in the draw. I don't think so. It's only red. Where's the Omen Hawker? In in my deck. This is a deck from a, a Magicka online event. I can keep this. Obviously, we have two of the same land, which sucks, but we're on the draw. Got one drop, two drop. We have the, the, the nuts here if we draw a blue source for Glyph on the thing on turn three, so. Interesting question, right? What's better, Colin or Anchorage? All right, so it's I for one. Have I seen the Timeless Creator Clash? Yeah, I was invited to that. I just, John had a hockey game that day. I, just, I was telling Anz that they're just, just, events are just too long. I just, you know, streaming for eight hours for like, you know, 16 players, four rounds, cut the top, if top, cut the top eight or whatever, it's just like ridiculous. Like, the streamer event should be a little more condensed, you know? But here's Sentinel. We draw Lamp Lead, Blue Land? No. Oh, no. All right, that's awkward. All right. Um, This sucks, honestly. So we have, uh, we just have to draw land again. I'm going to kill this. It's tiger one. It really blows. Uh, banking on drawing any third land that wasn't this, obviously. Um, we'll just sack our clue. It blows, but I should sack the, the inspector, actually. I mean, the clue's more valuable. What's up, friend? So we're pretty screwed here. <clears throat> they do nothing. We draw another card. Come on, man. Yeah, time for one. We could play the Aganjo as like a Lotus Paddle to play the cast wedding announcement. I think there's a decent chance they have a disenchant here, though. So I'm going to play the Inquisitor. Let's say go. Cut down. Go for the throat, sure. They found a throat, folks. If we just draw any blue source next turn, I'm not going to guarantee victory, but we're in amazing shape. We just have 7-6-7-6. Seven, seven, six, seven, six. Here's Shield Ridge, sure. Here's draw blue source, please. Nope. It's so annoying. We had, they've had some pretty gross games of this deck. We just literally cannot draw land. Like, like any land. Just give me a freaking land, you know? All right, let's play wedding announcement. Block the shoulder for a while and say go. Pretty big bummer. You know, 40-ish percent to draw land over and over and over and over again. There's a risk to playing two, two again, those obviously, but into that kind of light on removal, it's pretty high upside. We're blocking now because even though we're at 18, our life's going to start going low really fast the shoulder in place. So, going to frill back, destroying. How about the reliquary? Get the creature back. Again, I think if we draw a blue source next turn, we're like not a favorite, but like in decent shape for sure. All right. Let's find out, I guess, right? All right, here we go. Glyph on one of these. Attack for seven. Could dub block, I suppose, but... All right, you're at 11. Go make a token. So three cards in there. We're probably dead here. We just missed for, like, too many turns in a row, but... Map for a mortuary, sure. Yeah, glyph on incubator is pretty great, pretty sweet. Yeah, the the uh, the Norns Inquisitors in this like are pretty awesome. Just like a lot of cool synergies and a lot of different things going on. So, what's up, Grand Moth Tarkin? First time chatter. No! Love it. Tarkin's a great character. I like those novels. All right, so we take six here. Taking six of the shoulder in play is pretty tough. I'm just going to block now, so I have the option. It's one less point than blocking this, but, like, we just kind of, like, I'm trying to get, kind of get my blocks on, I think, so. Let's try another land. So you can just go Glyph and Inspector. We 
Mapping again. Another frill back. Why you gotta be like this, huh? Why you gotta be like this? They have another disenchant too? Come on. That would work. Alright, so. Attack for uh, 14. Long goodbye. Ouch. Alright, so Glyph discovers we find a Spyglass Siren. Sure. Unfortunately, we're going to draw a card, not get a token, which really sucks, actually. Um, but... Block bad if they have Lily. That's true. That's true. I think they would board out Liliana against us, because we're playing with the crappers, but... Now we're at nine. Alright. They hit all our spots, folks. Double frill back, path of peril, shield rib, maybe we missed a bunch of land drops. That's magic for you. It happens. Bad beats. We're dead. It's tough. Game three. I play. Eh, hand sucks keep. It's all right. All right, here we go. Map it up and let's go. We have a Seraphon three. Little map. The card is exceptional. It doesn't fit with what they're doing. What do you mean? Yes, it does. Shoulders the perfect mid-range curve topper, and they're playing a mid-range deck. I would argue that there's almost no better deck for a shoulder than that than that deck, right? Like, all right. So um, we got a Falcon ear. We want to we want to win our case. So we're not gonna map. Yeah, just go land and play this thing. I'm just gonna. And I'll find you. Attack. So there you go. So we'll just like Seraph next turn. The lifelink going too. Planes, planes, go. This is uh maybe raise the alarm. Whatever. Here's Seraph. Spend a life to gain a life. A lot of decks just don't play Shielder. Like it's funny. I like Shielder is so good. But, like, it's often not relevant at, like, big level events because, like, everyone's so ready for it that, like, it's just not that good if your opponent can kill it. And, like, people hear that and just don't believe it. But, like, go look at Worlds from last year or whatever. Like, you know, it wasn't really played that much. Like, it's just it's fine. But, like, it's just worse than other options when you're ready for it. All right, so no, they have no turn to play at all. So they're playing the uh, the Convoke deck. They could, they could gleeful my uh, my seraph. So it's funny. However, uh, in invulnerable we are to uh, to go for the throat, we're just as vulnerable to gleeful demolition. You need people of intelligence on this sort of question. <laughs> That's funny. Quest. All right, so um, we're just gonna like turn his map into a flyer and get in. I think. All right, ship it. Like. We are the beatdown currently. We have, a, a, we have two kill spells in our hand, which is pretty good. Any banned toxic in our future? Not really. That deck's mostly just like a meta deck against uh, against domain. It's like the you know, the anti-domain deck. It's not super great elsewhere. It's like fine, but technically full their own creature this time. They got any convoke going on here? Or they got a little uh, imidane recruiter. It's a case. And I would have gotten away with it. It's bad. It wasn't for you, man. All right. What's up, Neros? That's bad for us. Um, now we have, like, no... Nothing going on. Hmm. Bring back the front line or two? It's kind of weird. Like, not really get much value off this. Oh, that, never mind. Wait. Oh, so they want to make it so they can make a night air for a night air. That's good. That's a good blind. And they do it. They, hit, they only hit one night. One, one creature, but it's a night errant. So that goes away. We draw a schooner. Uh, I mean, we have a Ganjo for the night. We're kind of in trouble here, though, honestly. That was a bad attack. I should let this back. That was stupid. I should kind of like space bar too fast. Uh, yeah, I should let this back to block one of their things. And then I can eat the night. All right, never mind. I'm attacking anyway. So. All right, a Ganjo here. Get rid of this. 
we need to draw some gas here because we're not doing that much. They're foregoing solving the case for playing another knight. All right, this one's only for four, so they can't, uh, only for three. They had an Imidanes and a Reinforcements. Uh, we are in big trouble, folks. Look at the scooter. All right. Uh, yeah, we're in huge trouble. They have Imidanes plus, they just attack for a thousand next turn. <sighs> Yeah, we're, uh, yeah. All right, let's sack this. Eat this thing, play schooner, say go, and then just, like, I'm not even sure what we're drawing to, honestly. Like, they attack for so much next turn, and they solve their case. Gleeful Demolition on my stuff. So rude. It's probably a hard matchup, right? They just, like, get to do their normal thing, but have four sword splashers on their deck also. Alright, so this is an attack for a lot. Um... So let's either eat the warden. We take twelve. Thirteen. Work five. They win the case. Let me draw another land. Alright. We we're really, really dead. Alright. Man, that first game felt so good, but these last few games have been a little more a little more rough, honestly. So we're gonna bring in Vanquish the Horde, which is kind of sweet. Um and I would say these spell pierces are gone again. Obviously, weird to bring out a Wrath in our all-creature deck for the most part, but, like, we have plenty of ways to, to work with it, and it's just so important to kill our stuff. Um, is, like, a wedding announcement a possible part of our plan, too? Don't want Knockout Blow. Don't think you want Destroy Evil. This is, it's funny because Seraph's kind of bad against their Gleefuls too, right? Kind of like board out some Seraphs. Lifelink's pretty good too, though. Yeah, I'll just keep this. All right, on the play. Ugh. All right, Mulligan. All right. I mean, opponent's Mulligan also. I might go on a five. We're just going to keep. Keep this and ship. Probably the Inspector. I just, I'm sorry, it's just Seraph, right? It's double white, so... Alright, let's just draw draw white, I guess. Chat wants to know why only one Cryptic Coach. Uh, this is a card with very serious diminishing returns. It's very, very slow. And if you have a second copy in play, if a second copy almost doesn't do anything. Because you can't afford to spend mana on both of them at once. So, this is a card that's really, really good as like a one or two of. Uh, not a card you usually want to play four of. But a very, very powerful card. Get a clue... As flies were attracted to crap, I was attracted to cases. Almanacher would help, yes. All right, well, we drew a land, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's get our Warden in play. Actually, I can't even use it yet. That's fine, though. We're going to solve cases next turn. Oh, we're not, actually. I should, I, should, I should play the Inspector. That was dumb. That doesn't really matter, but... Alright, so we see another Warden. Boarding a second coat be good versus aggro? Why would it be good versus aggro? I think you want coat more in like the slower, the slower grindier matchups, right? They have the stones here. Ugh. This Boros deck is really frustrating because like when they have this draw, they're playing like an insane Pioneer deck in standard. But obviously like they have to, they only have four Gleefuls and four Convoke creatures, so it's like really uh, not super likely, but... Alright, yeah, I think we're uh, drawn to vanquish the hoarder bust here. Um, I 
Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. I guess I'd rather have a two, a, a two, three on defense. Yeah, it makes sense to have one, two, three. I think I'm bidding any non tank with the horde card, so I'll just say go. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. I don't know if we can beat this draw that vanquish the horde, so. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling kids. Did I hear a dead death? Did I hear a dead death? Hi, Cassian. Hey, come here, dude. Good morning, man. What do you got there? What did you find? Is that a that a shamrock light up thing? Where'd you find that, huh? Where'd you find that? Cassie, we're losing, bud. This is a tough game here. We're already at 10. Oh, we're so dead. We're just dead on board, kid. We're just dead on board, kid. We're dead on board. What are we gonna do? Um I don't think we have any outs. Maybe they won't kill us. Guess it's having a good hair day. Every day is a good hair day. So we block this and this. We take two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, we're, we're, we're dead on board, kid. Cassian wants to remind y'all to follow the stream and like, comment, subscribe, though. Right, Cassian? This is a turn four kill? Oh, my God. Yeah, when they have their nut draw, like, it's like, all right, whatever, I guess. He got me. All right, so, I don't know. This deck seems all right. Um, it does seem to be really, really good against, like, domain and control decks, because obviously the... Uh, not really. Um, obviously, the, uh, the the spell pierces and stuff like that. They tie for 29 on turn 4. Like, you know. Which is like doesn't happen very often. They need to have exactly Gleeful, exactly a 1-drop, and exactly, uh, you know, the lands, and the Convoke Guy, and everything else, too. You know. But, uh, but yeah, Dex is pretty sweet. Um, it does seem better, because, like, if you're, if you're playing this deck over the Boros deck, for example, like... I think you know part of the draws that you're playing spell pierce and counter spells on the sideboard, which can help a lot against the more combo and controlly decks. Uh, our draws were I think were pretty bad on average in this in this league. Um, I think. But uh but yeah, our deck's kinda cool. I'm not sure if Steel Star is even good, honestly. This card is like pretty slow and clunky, but I will say Zoetic Glyph onto uh, the Inquisitor stuff is pretty sweet. It's cool things happening here for sure. So that's this deck. YouTube folks love you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, peace.